Here's how to win an event in the DARPA Subterranean Challenge. Find the most artifacts in the shortest amount of time. When, or if, a team system locates an artifact, it has to report not only the type of artifact, but also its spatially referenced location to an accuracy within five meters. A valid report earns one point, but teams are granted only a limited number of reports, so they can't just guess until they get lucky. Sound easy enough? Think again. Teams have to send their systems through dynamic terrain, over, under, and around obstacles, in austere navigation conditions, pushing the limits of their endurance, and in conditions degrading sensing capabilities and severely constraining communications. Teams will be permitted multiple timed runs through the course, but between each run, the course can be changed. Obstacles added, passages blocked or unblocked, and artifact locations can be changed. So teams need to be agile, adaptive, and accurate if they want to emerge victorious in the Sub-T Challenge. <laughs>